All right, good morning, everybody. Friday, last trading day of the week. Just starting this recording two minutes before market opens. My dog's been having all kinds of stomach issues, been throwing up and the other end too. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with him, but I've been nonstop cleaning up messes and it's driving me crazy. No trading on Monday. Have a long, nice weekend. Let's trade. I'm put an order out here at 38 on ALEC. See if it gets me. No fill there. I'm actually going to give it a second, see if it runs through. Now that it bounced right off of it. All right, here we're popping through 38. All right, in ALEC, starting it here at 38.88. I'll look to add, of course. Okay, going to add in there. Average now at 39.30 with 200. See if we can get back down through 39 here. Not yet. All right, watching 40. I want to see it come back down through 39. All right, taking half or three quarters off right there, down to 50 shares. See if those come under 38.50. We'll think about a restart here, though, if we push through 40. Okay, here we go through 40. Well, didn't really get up there too high. Too high. Kind of a fake break through 40 there. See if we can get back down under 39. All right, taking another 25 shares off there just to kind of reduce this one down a little bit on my risk. Let's see if we can get under 38.50 now like I wanted originally. I 
Here comes 38.50. See if you can break under there. Beautiful. Got that down to 10 shares now. And I'm just going to put a stop on those at 39.50. Still showing a lot of strength here. So it's either going to stop those out for a small profit or it'll I'll try and let those sit for a little bit. Well, there's the stop out. So didn't work as well as I hoped, but uh, played it right, I think. We'll keep watching this one. All right, let's see if we can get a nice flush under 460 here. I'd like to see a nice big fast flush, but we'll see what it does, if it even does it. Okay, there's under 460, 457. All right, I'm in here, 457.27. Only 20 shares. Look to sell that back above 460. All right, on all out there for a quick one in AVGO. Little scoop after I took a break on the day and came back. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for my week. We're now going into the long three-day weekend. Thankfully, the dog has not done anything else crazy yet this morning, so that's a win, too. Uh, I do think I might be getting a little sick, though, so hopefully that doesn't ruin the weekend at all, but we'll see. But two, uh, two okay trades today. Nothing, nothing amazing, but two okay trades today. Uh, here in AVGO, I took about an hour and a half break to go be with the little one before... Her nap came back and the scanner was screaming at me on AVGO. It was up near like a 28, which for a $450 stock is very, very high. There was some bad news that came out uh, for AVGO. They're getting uh, charged by the FTC in regards to some illegal monop monopoly. So I don't, I don't know anything about it. I don't really care. I just saw an opportunity there for a trade when it was dipping. I started watching it actually around here. Didn't quite make enough of a move, but then you can see this candle here, a huge candle, about seven points there in one minute on that one candle. And it was already down about another three or four points in a couple minutes before that. So pretty good opportunity there. I thought an AVGO put the order out and got filled small size because of how big it was, how big it was moving. I got it at 457 and I was just happy to take this one over 460. It did come up all the way back to 466, so an extra six points would have been super, but I'll take the almost three I got there with the 20 shares coming back before I wrap it up for the day and the week and call it, call it a trade on, on that one. So the first trade of the day was on ALEC. Uh, this one was a little bit uh, more dangerous i would say but I, I had pretty good conviction around that 40 level uh adding into that 40 level made a big big move here 36 all the way up into that 40 level in about two minutes so that's a pretty big move there on alec now this one was making a huge move on the day up 54 percent but it's not a low float or anything about 80 million on the float about 26 million shares flo uh, traded today so a little bit over a quarter of the the float has been traded today and actually the opportunity the best opportunity was on the second go around when it popped up into 43 and it's since faded off throughout the morning and that's actually what the creator of the scanner uh we call him b that's what he ended up trading and looks like he's still taking some shares off down into here but he trades at much bigger size so he can let that smaller stuff run but uh Okay there, got the first cover uh, below both entries, which is always what I'm looking to do. And then you could just tell it wasn't it wasn't weak enough yet. It wasn't breaking down. It did break down for a second through that uh, 
3850 and I got a partial, but it didn't it wasn't ready yet to do that big sell off. So that's when I put the stop on the rest just over that 50 cent mark and below my second entry there. So ended up being a pretty good stop out on those remaining shares before the per the push, but certainly could have had a secondary opportunity there in ALEC. I'm trying to remember why I didn't take it. I might have been looking for over 44 for a push into 45. Might have been my thoughts at uh, that point, but uh at least I got some on it. So Two okay trades today, ending the day up 150, so July starting off a little bit better than, uh, or at least a little bit bigger than June was throughout the month on average, so hopefully you can keep that momentum going. Obviously not going to be here Monday because of the long holiday weekend, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do enjoy these videos, if you want to see more of them, it's free for you. It means everything to me if you just hit that like button, and especially if you hit that subscribe button. We're trying to make the push back towards 1,000, which... It's just weird. It's a weird feeling after being at 7K before I left and being an idiot and blowing everything up and now trying to push just back over a thousand. But once we do hit that thousand mark, I'm going to unveil the second trading studio. So I might put up a a goal ticker or something like that at some point here going forward. But I would really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a great long weekend. See you later.